Hi, my name is Seb Delaney and you're watching my weekly Wednesday video. And this week I thought I would answer one of the most asked questions I've ever had on my YouTube channel. So as you know, maybe or you don't, I live in this beautiful place called Monaco or Monte Carlo as you may know it. And one of the good things about living here is I get to see lots of supercars, but then again, the question I get asked the most often is people who are coming to go car spotting in Monaco who are like, oh, hey Seb, uh, where could I go car spotting in Monaco? Do you know any places or car parks or whatever? And so I figured that rather than answer all of you individually, I would just do a video, kind of Monaco spotting for dummies, where I would show you where you need to go in Monaco if you're coming here to spot. So I'm gonna be doing all the places that are outside. I'm not gonna be going into car parks or things like that because I don't want all of you rushing to car parks and taking covers off cars and us all getting in trouble. So I'm gonna give you the basics of you're coming to Monaco, you have a day or two to spot. These are the places you need to stick around and you need to be. And yeah, that's basically it. So cue the intro. Can we also just take a second to appreciate this view, guys? Isn't this just freaking insane? Cray cray. Okay, so Monaco is not as big as people realize. It's only about two square miles. And at the heart of it, there is a Formula One racetrack. And that sort of everything revolves around that. So right now, I am on the starting line of the racetrack, as you'll see on the diagram here. Um, there's not really many supercars here, but it's always a good place to start. If you take the train in, this is where the train will drop you off. And as soon as you go here, we're going to follow the course of the Formula One. So we're going to keep going along the racetrack. You go up a big hill, long hill, where here you sometimes get cars driving up and down. And it's a pretty good place to, you know, sort of make your way up to the casino because you often get cars coming and leaving from the casino. So as soon as you've gone from the train station or the starting line, you want to go straight for the casino, the most famous place. And I'm going straight in, I'm not even keeping that for last. Casino Square, where there are often a lot of nice cars. And casino is very unpredictable. You can have a hypercar there at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or, you know, 8 o'clock in the evening. But I think like anywhere it's better in the evenings, around 8, 9 o'clock. That's more the time when you should go. So that is one good place to go, right there. Up on the corner there, you can see all the cars coming around Casino Square, you can see all the cars leaving, and it's just basically the best set of spots. So, keeping on the racetrack, we're gonna head down here towards what is called the Fairmont Corner, or the Hairpin. Really, really, really well-known spot. Here there are always a few cars, you know, look like, look at the Bentley there, you never know. It's sort of scattered all over the place in Monaco. But when you come around here, so right there, it's actually a really good spot not many people know and I'm giving you my secrets because that is the spot where you can see the cars coming and leaving the casino and you can film them for longer. I mean the hairpin, sorry. And this is the hairpin. I would usually stay around there, right there, because that's where um, you get to see the cars coming up and down. And no, that's a really, really good spot and cars come around there all day and they sort of pass there if they're going to the casino. Still keeping on the racetrack, there's this spot right here. I don't know if you can see it in the middle of the roundabout there. Right here. And this is a great spot because if you look on the right, there's the Formula One tunnel, which we're not gonna go to just yet. And that is a great place because you see all the cars going up and down from the hairpin, out of the tunnel, and going up to this restaurant called Cipriani's, right here. So there's nothing here now, but this around like 9 o'clock in the evening really comes to life. And that's one place you really want to be looking at if, uh, if you're doing car spotting in Monaco, if you're here around the evenings. Because there's often a lot of nice cars there. I remember seeing a Koenigsegger Jera X there and a few other things. Now we're leaving the racetrack and we're going a bit further up towards what's called La Votto. And you have all of the Ferrari, Rolls Royce and McLaren dealerships here. And those are often, you know, hot spots for some for some nice cars. But this is what I want to show you. This is the Grimaldi Forum. And there's a, a cafe called Sass Cafe in here, um, which is a real hot spot for supercars. So that is one place where you should really, really go on a Friday or a Saturday night around 11 o'clock. And you'll always, always have at least, you know, a few Ferraris or something around there. And that's definitely a good hot spot. So that's one place. But, you know, again, all most people know about these places so I'm not really giving you anything special it's more just a guide as to the first time in Monaco and you want to go car spotting we're heading towards the uh, 
Italy side of Monaco um, because we're going to head towards some hotels. So the first hotel is called the Meridian. This is where a lot of, during the big events, during the tennis or during football matches or something, most of the players or during top marks, most of the manufacturers will stay at this hotel. So they pull in right here and that's a good place to check. I mean, I'm sorry, it's quite dead now, but I'm just showing you the spot. So this is a Rockabella. Uh, and Maya Bay is in, in that building and that's a restaurant where last week I saw McLaren P1 so that's a definitely a good place to go and this right here is Jimmy's on the left I don't know if you saw it um, that is a really 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 famous nightclub uh, Monte Carlo Bay another nice hotel to check for cars but you have to drive up or walk up but it's a good place where you can see some cool cars so worth checking in the summer, not really in the winter. So, but if you're coming around top marks time, it's definitely worth checking. Now, so now we're driving up towards called the Beach Club, the Beach Hotel, uh, and this is dead in the winter, so there won't be anything here now. The, the parking is even going to be closed. But in the summer, people come here during the daytime. So if you're coming during the daytime, when you don't think many cars will be out, well, you will be mistaken because all you have to do is you have to come here. So I'm actually going to drive into the car park and avoid the bump. And here, during the summer, all of these parking spaces are taken up by some pretty cool cars. So it's the Monte Carlo Beach Club. This is all the way on the end of Monaco, on the Italian side, next to the country club. Monaco in the winter is very unreliable, really. I mean, you get hyper cars coming out like there's been in the last few days. Uh, so there was a 918, a red 918 yesterday in a car park. Uh, that came out and, you know, it's very unpredictable. Oh, SLR. See? I mean, that just pops out, out of nowhere. Anyways, thanks for reinforcing my point. But in the summer, it's it's a constant stream of cars, basically. Um, in all of these places I'm showing you, if you go, you'll basically find, like, some cars. They might not be the most special of all cars, but there'll be some cars. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the famed uh, Grand Prix Tunnel. So this is where all the car spotters come doing top marks and they sort of line up on the pavement here and uh, and you often get cars sort of accelerating up into the tunnel I'm going to have to speak loudly because it's loud in here There's the Yacht Club on the left here as you come out So there's a Maserati I see, Ferrari California T, Aston Martin C But that's the Yacht Club and that's basically a bit of a hub for cars And now we're on the port So on the left here, if you take that road down there as you go to where you may have seen all the Maserati MC12 photos. Here on the left is where you saw um, uh, the two Enzo's, the blue and the yellow one next to each other. So that's where all the owners of the boat sort of park their cars. And that's a place you should check as well. If you're coming and you want to do a photo shoot, I'm going to bring you to the best spot possible for that. This is still the Formula 1 racetrack, so now we're passing the Rascals and we're going to turn off the track to go on the left here. So this is what you do, you drive up here. A little tip that not many people know, there's the most expensive school in Monaco in this building. So at around 4.30 when the parents come to pick up the kids, you often have some cars that sort of are here for about two minutes picking up the kids. So there's a little tip for you. So here you reach this amazing photography spot. Which I'm sure you've seen in photos before. And yeah, so that's Monaco. And that brings us back onto the racetrack and to the finishing line. So that's one lap of Monaco basically, uh, giving you an idea of where are the best places to car spot. I mean, it's pretty simple really. You just want to stick around the racetrack using that as your heart in Monaco to spot around. And then you just really want to go to the big main spots. So that's Casino and all of, all of the other ones I named. Okay, so that is it for my spotting tour of Monaco. I tried to keep it short and concise. I didn't show you all of the sort of areas in Monaco. But the thing about Monaco is it's so tiny and it's so unpredictable that basically wherever you are, you have a chance of seeing the cars. But whether you stick around Casino Square or those areas, those are the places where you have the most chances of seeing them. So I would say if you're coming for a day, you should start off, get off at the on the train uh, at the train station, because you don't need a car in Monaco. Then you drive up around Casino, go down to the Fairmont corner, round Sass, all those areas, back to the port, and then you know call it a day. You can check all the other areas around, but that's basically the most important thing to, to be able to see. 
and yeah I mean hopefully in the summer the best times to come top marks lots of cars Grand Prix lots of cars and then the summer just basically any day of the weekend is crazy so those are the times I would like you to come if ever you come around send me a message I hope you like and enjoyed this video and please remember to like comment share and subscribe thank you so much I will see you Saturday for the weekly report and next week for a new video cheers bye <laughs>